In this video, we're going to see if we can get one of these NVMe drives to work with an old FX8320 motherboard. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I had a user reach out to me and asked that they have a old system running an FX8320, which is the AM3 Plus motherboard. And it's a gigabyte board, and they wanted to know, would an NVMe and one of these adapters work with it. And to be quite honest, I didn't know. So I happen to have an 8320 that used to be our old video editing system and our streaming system. And I'm like, hey, let's try it out. <laughs> now, honestly, I'm not 100% sure if this will work. I mean, but technically, I think it should. Um, so the main thing is I took out now I have an NVMe, I was gonna order one, but the stores are not open yet. And I was gonna get one, but then me, I don't wanna just buy something and then have no other use for it. Cause right now, all of my systems have been converted over to NVMEs. So if I bought one, I really wouldn't have a use for it. So I'm just taking out the NVMe drive that's within my mini ITX build and I'm looking to see if it detects. Now, I don't want it to go too far because this is vastly different hardware and then Windows gonna might throw up saying, oh, you're putting this in a different system. I don't wanna compromise um, my system. So mainly, this is gonna be off camera. Um, I'm not gonna have it going through the system. I'll have the camera turned around so you can see it, but I'm just gonna have this hooked up into the motherboard and then I just want to see, does it get detected inside of the BIOS? Because if it does that and it allows us to pick whether it is a bootable drive, then there's your answer. So let me go ahead and rig up <laughs> this motherboard and to some power, and then we'll see if we can get this working. All righty, excuse my mess here, but I, like I said, I had to jimmy rig all this. I was in the process of getting ready to do something else, but... Anyway, we, I had to, this is the only power supply I could get right now. They didn't have to tear apart all of these, but we're going to hook this up. And as you see, we have the NVMe drive hooked up and let's go ahead and get started. All right, good. Asked me to get to the operating system. I mean the BIOS. And we're looking to see if this drive is detected. We are looking for, is it detecting the drive? Let's go to boot. Oh, look at that. There it is. So it is detecting the NVMe drive. So on an older system, I mean, granted this is an MSI Gaming X um, 970 motherboard. Um, but it's running a 32, I mean, an 8320, and it is being detected. So I can pick this as the boot option, which it already is. So yes, this will, an NVMe will work on at least this section of drive because it's actually picking up the adapter. All right, so pretty much we see that this adapter will work on an AM3 plus motherboard with the 8320 and I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it will work on any system as long as if you put it in and look through the BIOS and does it detect first the hard drive and then is the hard drive selectable as being a bootable device. So Rafael Tao, I hope that answers your question and if any of y'all have any other questions leave them in the comments or hit me up and that way I would try my best to get those questions answered for you. If you like this type of content I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry and 
If you need some help remotely more than what I can do here in a question, you can always go to ajhomes.com and click on consultations at the top and I'll be more than happy to help you set up, plan your system at your church, have go through any technical issues or anything like that. You just got to click on there and I'm also even available for a on-site as long right now, as long as it's within two hours of Richmond, Virginia for me to get there. But if you need something else, we can always work on something. If you need to, just hit me up here in my email here at the bottom. But anyway, I hope you have a great day and we will see you on the next video later.